Hola, my peoples. And welcome to Life with Mona. So before I even go into today's episode, I need to first of all apologize because we were meant to have screened an episode last week with Judge Wok, who is the barbecue chef, taking us through passion and dreams and, and how he built his as a, as a barbecue chef. But that didn't happen. We hit a small snag with our editing. It has been worked on and the episode will be out very soon. We'll keep you posted on that one. However, as we say in the industry, the show must go on. So today I'm talking a little bit about that. I'm talking about what I am calling blueprinting. And this thing seems to have been hitting my life. Like um, I've, I've encountered so many situations where I have had to ask myself if I have my own blueprint. So I am a free spirit, first of all, as you know. And the one thing that is very difficult for me, I always say this and people laugh, but it's true. It's very difficult for me to think in a straight line. <laughs> I think in stories, I think in pictures, I think in scenes. I think I think like in circles, you know, circular, and then I'll, I'll get to the point eventually. But I don't think in a straight line. And that is great when you're creating because the most boring things ever are the things that you create like, like this. The rules must be followed. Those are usually the most boring things ever. So it's great for creation. It's not so great for planning for yourself. So in tandem with this, I, I had two conversations with two male friends of mine recently, both of whom are going through different phases in their lives. One who just recently got married, who said, I, I used to think that this guy had everything together, but he was, he was confessing to me. He was saying up until like two years ago, he, yes, he was climbing the ladder in his career. And, you know, he was somebody who everybody respected in his career, but he really did not, had not sat down to plan out his life, to, to do the blueprint of his life, you know, like this is the house. This is where the doors are going to be. This is where the windows are going to be. You know, this is going to be the, the backyard. This is, he hadn't done that. So what he was doing was just kind of like building up his reputation, so to speak, and, you know, doing the money and all that stuff. And he said he found because he didn't have a plan, he jumped a lot into other people's plans. And he found he had mixed his business life with his social life, with his personal life, with this. And everything was just crazy for him until he took a step back and said, I need to come up with this blueprint and a definite blueprint, not the kind of blueprints we have of wake up in the morning, go to work, do well, come back home. Wake up in the morning, go to work, do well, come back home, which is what most of us think is a plan. It's not. It's not. It's 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 following the motions, which is what so many of us do. Now, this other friend of mine is at a point of his life, the opposite of the first friend, a point of his life where he thought he had a plan and a blueprint, but things kind of, you know, the roof caved in, sort of, you know, things didn't quite go as, as planned. So. He's reworking and he said he's reworking step by step. He doesn't have a big picture right now. What he has is the picture of what he needs to do today to to get to where he wants to go, of which he's not even 100% sure. So I thought of these two different men who I respect greatly and kind of thought of my own life and had to be very honest with myself because I think I can safely say I have never sat down to blueprint Mona. I have had ideas of things I want to do, like, you know, the best New York best-selling list, tick there. Um, I've said it before, best original screenplay, Oscars, tick there. Um, a writer who impacted people's lives, absolutely. Somebody who tried to find the truth and speak the truth, yes you know, a good, solid person, all those things. But I have never done a blueprint for those things. And the reason this hit me was that for both these men, and men are really good at this, it was very clear. The one who said he had to pull back from a life that was getting out of hand and, and draw a plan. And these days, before he takes on any job or goes for any meeting, or even hangs out like on a Friday night with friends, somewhere at the back of his head, he's asking, is this a, is this a part of my blueprint? Is this, 
is this building my house or not? My house being the life that he wants for himself. And this other friend who is honest to say, yes, I really can't look into the far future right now, but I am clear that I need to have a step by step. I need to take things a step at a time, which means he's clear that a blueprint is needed. So for me, giving a, a specific example, for instance, um, my writing, my writing thing, I used to take on all jobs. Okay. Somebody would come to me with a job for 5,000 shillings. I say, I'll take it 10. I'll take it 15, 20, whatever it is. I'll take it. Someone will come to me and say, listen, let's do this thing for free because down the line it's going to be big. Nah, 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 I'll take it. And there's nothing wrong with that. But the thing I never really asked myself was, is this part of my greater journey? This job that I'm taking for 5,000 shillings, what is it? Is it a comedy? Okay. If it's a comedy and what I want to be good at is drama and my best original screenplay, wants to, I want it to come from a drama, but I keep taking free comedy gigs or comedy gigs to work on, am I in line with my blueprint? And the truth was, no, I was not. Or I say this novel that I am working on and I can see people pointing fingers at me right now. I've been working on a sequel of a novel for two years, for the last two years. And it keeps being brushed aside because, yeah, you know, there's bills to pay. So if a paid gig comes, of course, this one is going to take the back seat because it's not something that is uh, as successful as I'd want it to be yet. But this is part of my blueprint, which I say New York Times bestselling list. So if every time something else comes up, this one gets decked, how then do I plan to get to the end of my race, which I say is my New York Times bestselling list. So I've had to ask myself some pretty tough questions of what is my plan, right? Where do I wanna get to? And the things I'm doing every day as I wake up, as I say I'm paying the bills, am I really getting closer to it or am I just that hamster in, in a circle running round and round and round? I'll give you another example. I'm single. Uh, do I want to get married again? I was married. Do I want to get married again? Probably not. Would I like someone to walk through life with? Absolutely. Now, I, being a tomboy, I hang out with men because it's just easier for me. I relate more to those topics than I do when I hang out with women, for instance, just because of how I grew up climbing trees with boys. So I understand that language, you know. But the other day, my sister Emma and I were laughing and she, and she was telling me, you know, the reason why you don't even realize you're single. It doesn't hit you. Not that there's anything wrong with being single. Being single is fantastic. But the reason why for you there's never any urgency is because you're always surrounded by maleness. And I'm surrounded by maleness because my men are, I mean, my friends are men, right? So, you know, if there is something that I need to ask, you know, I, I need a male ear, I'll ask, I'll ask them. They're there, you know. But then <laughs> I started thinking, is this really in tandem with my blueprint? If what I say in my blueprint is I want a companion, am I really going to meet this guy hanging out with male friends who are nothing but friends? Okay. Um, is this guy going to magically walk out and sit at the local one day? He probably not. Right. So, if my blueprint, and I'm not even sure it is yet, to be honest with you, but if my blueprint is that I want a companion, and this is actually something that's important enough to get onto my blueprint, then my actions need to align with that. For instance, saying, okay, I really enjoy the company of these friends of mine. However, I need to balance it out being somewhere else where I'm more likely to meet this companion than in this place where I haven't met him for the past nine years, for instance. Okay. So these are the things that have kind of like been on my, on my mind. And for all of us, there is something like we wake up in the morning. What are you waking up for? And we want to say, I'm waking up for my kids. But honestly, that's not enough because what if you won the lottery and everything your kids ever needed was paid for? then what would you wake up for? Do you know what I mean? Or you say you're waking up for your spouse. That's not enough. What if things changed and that ended? Then what? 
And I just think our blueprints, the ones that survive the test of time, need to be blueprints that are not dependent on somebody else. Okay? For instance, I want to be a good mother. That would really be dependent on me, right? On how I act, on, on, on how I bring up my kids. Whatever the result is, is not up to me. But I am stepping up to be as good a mother as I can and letting the rest go. If my blueprint is I want to be a good leader, I am not going to go out there and try and force people to follow me. I will do the things that are going to help me get to my point of leadership and let it go. But whatever actions I do have to fall in line with the blueprint that I say I want, whatever that is. No right or wrong answers. And that is something that I am really digging into right now. What is my blueprint? And every single action that I take needs to fall in within this blueprint. Or I need to change the blueprint. Because otherwise, there really isn't a purpose to what I'm doing here. I don't have the definite answers, you know. But I just think it's something that's really important for all of us to to think on and, and, and to, to sit down, even if you have one, sit down and rethink it vis-a-vis -vis how we spend our days. Right? Yeah, so let's uh, have a blueprinted week. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching Live with Mona.